Daily YouTube. This is Eileen Pod. I'm going to show you how to um, show you how to use Mobile Air Mouse, uh, which is a program where you could use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a mouse to control your computer. Um, here's a quick demo of it. As you can see, I am moving it with my iPod, and um, that's real quick. So obviously, you have to download this application off the App Store. It's currently two dollars at the App Store. Um, it's on sale. Original price is like five bucks, and um, I recommend getting it now before it's too late if you really want this. So obviously, you got it. In, you have it in your iPad or iPhone, and now we're gonna have to download this uh, this program where you, uh, it'll allow you to actually use it. So now we have to go to this website called MobileAirMouse.com. Uh, after you get there, you have this whole home website. It has all the information and all the reviews and demos and whatnot in here. And as you get there, in the right, here you have a download section. If you're a Mac, you download this. If you're a PC, you download this. I'm a PC. I already have it downloaded, so, you know, I don't really need to download it. But you download that, um, that program, and you're going to have to install it. After you have the uh, program, it'll look like this, called Setup from RPA Technologies. Mm -hmm and you just install that you don't have to change any settings you may have to agree some conditions if it if it's if it says any if you have to um, and it's a quick installation pretty quick after you have that installed here you have the mouse thing in the bottom right taskbar you could double click, click it to open up the window or click right click and restore to open up this thing right here and um, obviously you have all these settings here you could change the air motion which is the movement of the uh, arrow touch motion and scrolling I changed my, the settings to my own preferences you could copy mine as you can see here so here you have the server you have the I, it's already uh, done for you it's already have the settings for you the server made for you so now you could go to your iPod touch and in the top left corner, uh, you could see that green thing right there. If it's green, that means it has a server up and running and, it's c and it is connected. And if it's red, that means there's no connection. Make sure you have Wi-Fi on. And as you can see, it has the settings right there. In the bottom here, uh, you can make your own server, kind of. Um, maybe if you need to look for it, if you have any problems, I guess. I don't know what to use that for, but I know that it's to connect to maybe another server. Here, you in the uh, top right, you have like a switch button. You have like a different kind of, like a, you know, bigger mouse button area, so you don't have to click anything. And notice how I'm clicking it at the same time. Uh, I'm going to switch it back. Now you could shake it, and you will have the whole keyboard pop up. Here you could type. Um, let me show you something. Let me show you real quick. As you can see here, it's it has that little uh, cursor kind of thing where you could type in. You could also use this to type. Uh, let's see, let's search for Apple. As you can see, it's typing at the same time. As you can see, I've searched. Now you could click Enter to search it. Ready? And there you go. You could search it. Um, now in here, you could take the uh, middle button. This middle button, you have to hold it to actually, to actually move the uh, the mouse to actually have it going. So you could hold it to move it around. As you can see, you you put it up, you put it down. You don't move it like that. It won't really move so well if you move it like that. If you have your hand and then just kind of point up, point down, tilt to the right, tilt to the left, and you have it, you have it working. You could also use your um, air mouse if you click this kind of arrow right there if you click that right here uh, you could um, y these are like extra buttons so it's like shortcuts so maybe you go to your home page from your internet your Firefox maybe you could go back a page um, maybe you could refresh a page and so on and so forth also you have the music right here you could click play um, I don't have iTunes on, I don't think so, but if you do, it'll play the music from there. Here you could put up the volume, here you can lower it down, you have the menu, you have the mute, and all that kind of stuff. And also here you have the uh, F1, F2 keys and whatnot, um, arrow, ball here, and home, enter, and up and down, all that stuff. So this, this uh, application is really helpful, it's really cool. You can do it from far away as long as you have internet connection and um, all that stuff. Um, I think that's all you have. If you have problems, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Just 
ask me and I will try to help you out. And also, if you made all those changes, make sure you click apply and done. Guys, if you have problems with anything, just tell me. I'll try to help you out. Um, if you have any problems, like I said, comment and I'll try to help you out. I also have solutions over there in the description if there's any if you need any problems. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. I hope it helps you out and bye.